in today's video I thought I would do a combined haul of all of the St. Nick's treats that I bought and stocking stuffers that I'll be putting into the stockings on the 24th. At our house, Santa doesn't fill the stockings, he just brings one gift for the kiddos. Mom and mom <laughs> do the stocking stuffing. So I'm not giving anything away because our arrangement with Santa is just one gift for Ani and we're good to go. So without further ado, let's jump into the haul. First up, St. Nick's Day. If you don't celebrate St. Nick's Day, I previously did a haul on that and explained a little bit about what it was, but I have some new items I wanna go over. Basically, in the Catholic Church, St. Nick is sort of like a Santa Claus type figure. You would put your socks or shoes by the fireplace and overnight he would put a treat in them. So it's just a fun way to kind of continue with the Christmas season. So this is what I have. These will probably be for Laura and I, although we'll share the good tasting ones with Ani if she's interested. And it is Naughty and Nice Candy Cane Game. This one, you spin the little spinner and whatever color you land on, you grab that color candy cane. And orange is either orange or cheese. Green is either pickle, pickle or watermelon, and red is either spicy chili or strawberry. Same concept in this one. Yellow is garlic or banana. Blue is dirty socks or blue raspberry. And red is onion or cherry. So we'll probably do a little video of us trying these. I don't normally do these sort of taste test things like bean boozled because not knowing if I'm gonna get something good or gross just messes with my head. I got a few of these. Honestly, we'll probably put one or two in Ani's shoes and then save the rest for Christmas stocking. They're just chocolate covered marshmallow Santas. I will be getting these from St. Nick. They're fruit gummies. Let's be honest, Ani's probably gonna have some too. Laura got this Slim Jim with cheese and sausage. She loves these things as like a treat every now and then. For now, I'm planning on putting these in Ani's St. Nick's shoe. Some of this might get moved to her stocking. I really need to break down what I'm getting. And I should know, all of these items came from Dollar General, Dollar Tree, or the tar or Target. Um, I think all said and done for all three of us, for St. Nick's and stocking stuffers, I spent maybe $45. Next up are some Joe Window Clings. She really likes stickers, and I think she's gonna like playing with these either on the front door, storm door, the back door, storm door, or I'm hoping they'll stick to the dishwasher even. I got this for Lauda. Again, I'll probably split it between her St. Nick's and her stocking. This little squeezy duck is for Ani. Dove chocolate bar for me. And then I've showed these before. I got three little cups so I can put the candy in the cups and not directly in our shoes. Got a little Mickey and Minnie book for Ani. And then last but not least, normally I, or well normally we, do ornaments on Christmas Day. This year I'm gonna put them in our St. Nick shoe just so we can go ahead and hang them on the tree. So this is the one that's for Laura and I. It says Sweeter Together. And this one is for Ani and it's just a 2020 Christmas ornament. So as things stand now, that completes our St. Nick's shoes. But like I said, for Ani in particular, some of this stuff might get shuffled. Some of it might end up going in her stocking and some of these stocking stuffers might end up going in her St. Nick's shoes. I have to kind of break down what I want to give her when. Anyway, yes. First up is chocolate coins. I've already showed Ani's. I went back and got a bag for Laura and I because again, is it even a stocking stuffer if you don't get chocolate coins? I thought these would be really fun on Christmas morning. For Laura and I, I got these little melt away Santas. You put them in a cup of hot milk and they become hot cocoa. Ani, I don't think will like hot cocoa, so I got her just these mini chocolates. Hopefully she can enjoy them at the same time and not even notice that she's missing out on these. Lauda loves Pockies, and as far as I know, she's never had cookies and cream, so I thought this would be a good flavor for her to try. I got a box of Nerds and a box of the Trolley Sour Bite Trees. One of this will go in my stocking, and one of them will go in Lauda's. We'll probably share, and again, we'll probably share with Ani. As far as I can remember, we used to always get a Pez dispenser in our stockings. I could have made that up, but I just feel like at least often we got them. So I went ahead and got this one for Lauda. It was on clearance at five and below. She loves witches and villains. So even though it's Halloween, I checked the expiration date, it's fine. And I got this one for me. I didn't get one for Ani. She's a little young for Pez in my opinion. Obviously it's a harder candy. She's not gonna be able to do this. If she's that desperate, again, we'll share. <laughs> 
Next up, I couldn't pass these up. They are the M&M Minis in the little colored Christmas tubes. Um, honestly, I wouldn't have gone for these because you end up paying extra, but I think these little tubes will come in handy for an activity I want to do with Ani. So these are what they are. And I like the Minis because again, Ani sometimes doesn't remember to chew her food, so these are small enough she's not going to choke. We limit how much sort of added sugar Ani gets, so I got some freeze-dried fruit. And unlike Halloween, I made sure that these do not have added sugar. They are just apples. Three of these popping candies in strawberry, blueberry, and green apple. Um, I'll either do one per stocking, or if somebody has more or less in a stocking, I'll put all of them in. Lauda loves Kinder Joy and Kinder Bueno, so I always get her one of the two, so I got her this little Kinder Joy. For Ani, we got these little Mickey and Minnie gummies. I'm hoping these are kind of like fruit snacks and that they're a little smaller and a little softer, um, but I just thought the box was cute. Okay, so that concludes all the snacks that we have right now. I don't think we're gonna get any more food. If we do, it would probably just be like a snacky, like chips or a drink for Loud and I's shoes from St. Nick tomorrow, but we're not sure we're gonna do that. Diving right into stockings. I got this for Lauda and this for me. They're just really simple. They were a dollar at Target. It comes with all of the colors you need and instructions to make these little creatures. Ani really likes playing with Play-Doh. I thought Lauda and I could do these while we're playing with Play-Doh at one point. For myself, I got this from the Target Dollar Spot. It is a little travel straw that also comes with like the little brush to clean it. I don't tend to like to use re um, disposable straws, so this is perfect. Particularly for if I'm ever able to go back to work, I can put it on my work bag and then I always have one. Lauda is a teacher. It is a stressful job, particularly moving into the second semester as they prepare for state testing, particularly now with doing digital versus in person, blah, 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 blah. So I got her this Aaron's Thinking Putty. This stuff is pricey, but if you've never had it, this stuff holds up so well. This little tin is $3 a Target. I know you can get Silly Putty for $1, but I swear by this stuff. I used to have it when I worked in middle schools and I love it, but it's just a good little stress reliever for Lauda to use at work. Another thing we used to always get in our stocking is chapstick. When we were little, it was lip smackers, but I just got this peppermint scented chapstick. I figure one can be for Lauda's work, one for her and one for me. I didn't forget Ani. <laughs> um, I've showed some of these before, but I'm just gonna run back through all of them because I can't remember which I've showed and which I haven't. A squishy little llama. These I do remember showing, the little ugly doll figurines. Again, she doesn't know who the ugly dolls are, but she'll like them. I got these two from Dollar General last week. Um, it was buy one toy, get 175% off. So these were like a dollar when combined. This is for Lauda. I got it at um, Dollar Tree, just a little notebook. For Ani, we got the Christmas matching game and we got the alphabet flashcards. She got this little sink and, seek and find book from the Dollar Tree. We have another one of these um, about animals and she really likes it. Paint with water book. Ani gets these hair elastics. She uses them as bracelets. She's always stealing Lauda's, so I thought if we got her some of her own, maybe, possibly, she'll quit taking Lauda's. A little Dollar Tree set of Play-Doh tools. Again, she really likes Play-Doh, so I thought we'd get some use out of this. And then some more coloring supplies. She got these little pipsqueak markers. They're perfect for little kid hands. And then I just randomly saw these. Um, I might actually put them in Lauda and I stockings. Just give it a little bit more bulk. And let's be honest, whenever Ani's doing art, Lauda and I are doing art, but they're paint sticks, Crayola brand paint sticks. And then last but not least, I'm not sure whose stocking this will go in. Probably mine, just cause I feel like I have the least in my stocking so far, but it's really a family gift. Specifically, currently it's a gift for Lauda and I, and it is Quirkle Rummy. Um, we really like playing Quirkle. I'm gonna call it a board game cause that's the section it's in, but it doesn't have a board. Um, but Corkle Rummy, you play just like Rummy. You can either make straights based on color or straights based on shape. Um, so this will just be something simple and quick. We really like playing card games and board games, particularly when we're doing like our no screen nights or no electronics nights. Um, and as Ani gets older, this is something we wanna do with her is play board games and do things that don't involve screens. So Corkle Rummy, probably in my stocking. That is everything. Um, Nothing over the top and crazy, but it's just something simple and fun. I realize Loud and I stockings probably look super boring. We're not doing gifts for each other this year because we know coming up, we both want slash need new running shoes and we want slash need new cell phones. Um, so we just got something super simple, but the idea of exchanging a gift is fun. And 
yeah, I hope you guys are having a great lead up to Christmas. Hopefully your Christmas shopping is finished or nearly finished or stress-free if you have to go last minute, but we will see you tomorrow. Bye.